Hello YouTube, this is Spawn799 here with Amateur Game Development Episode 4. New graphics, updates, and my new engine. My engine, my previous engine got too cluttered, and I rewrote it. So, this is in a new language by the way, Blitz Plus, so I can use graphical user interface commands. So I can have a GUI in my game. Uh, sorry, had to sip a drink there. So, what goes on here is uh, this is my engine A, engine B, which is basically one engine together. It's like a marriage that works, and there's no fighting amongst each other. So it's a good marriage, I guess you could say. I guess this can be the boy, and this can be the girl. I don't know. Whatever you fantasize about virtual user virtual computer marriages. I don't know. Maybe you have a messed up mind. But anyways, so this is my engine A which is all the uh declarations, as you can see a bunch of globals. Uh functions, all my functions. Loading. This is b big load thing right here. It loads everything it needs to load through there. Uh, check variables for chests, mask all the images, um, check to see what map you're in, and you know if you hit a certain tile then load a new map, and then it here's my renderer, as you can see renderer is labeled right there, um, inventory handles for the inventory, um, movement, Basically, this is a very reusable engine. I mean, this engine is like 100% reusable, which is, you know, very cool. So, um, you got a, uh, so basically, my game is a lot, you know, I can barely scroll down. Look at that. My game looks a lot neater. This is my physical, my actual game itself, and, you know, it's just, it's very good. So, this is debugging. All this right here is debugging. So, that will be taken out later. This is draw the image, cause the adventure log, and make sh make sure nothing happens with the screen scrolls. Um, which you know, if it's a new game, those will be modified, so it, they don't need to be in the in the engine itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you the game that I've ha that's been going on, all the new textures that my graphics guy has worked on. Check it out. He's got textures for sand, textures for roof tiles up there. He's got, if you can, if you see closely, you got the um, the brick textures. As you can see from my other previous videos, they're a lot better. Uh, there's a window. I don't know if it should be that big. I don't know if anybody has a wall-to-wall -wall window. But uh, hmm, right here is all the sand of the beach and water with foam and new grass textures and everything. So, check it out. This is my dude. He's walking. He's a new dude. He's a, he's a starting character. He's the beta version of the starting character. We don't know if he's going to be the... Uh, he's going to look similar to this, but, you know, it's not going to be as crappy. So, check it out. He walks, and it loads a new section of the map through the screen scrolling. That's pretty cool. So you can so you can scroll through it just like it's a Zelda game. Yay! He wa he's walking, just, you know, chilling. He thinks he wants to go in the house, so we'll go and take him in the house. Check it out. This is all my chests. He's in the house now. As you can see, it loaded the new maps perfectly, without anything to go wrong. We've opened a chest. What have I obtained? I got a key. Cool. That's freaking awesome. Oh, I've obtained a curious. That is nice. Got a sword. I don't have any collision tiles on my chest yet, so... Who cares? At the moment. I got a potion. Basically, you know, that's it. It's a lot, of, a lot of new graphics, new loading features, and everything. 
And uh, if anything else happens, you know, with the new functions, I'll go ahead and post it. Maybe I'll probably post a new wi video in a week with the new job I got. So thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to Spum789. Send me feedback. Send me comments. Do whatever you want. Do whatever YouTubers do and all that stuff. So thanks for watching, and you have whatever you have.